Venus with a pimp, man. He had women. Um, like all prophets. This guy gets really upset at Cliff for telling people about Jesus. And we're going to get right into it. So shout out to Cliff and give me an answer. Go check them out. Also, guys, I'm going to be watching all the way through. And I have a Bible verse that will tie all of this together. Let's get into it. Why, why do you need to convince other people to, to come to Jesus? Why? And it's yours. It's your belief. No, 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 no. What if I believe in something different? We have our prophets. You have a they right to. Murdered. You have a right to murdered believe whatever by, you want to believe. By Christians, by Jesus freaks. We're afraid of us because we look different. Because we spoke a different language. That's why they murdered us. Because they gave us a Bible. And then they took this land. And now we got people who don't even know what's going on. Confused. Don't even know their history. America hasn't learned anything from their history because they haven't taught, haven't been taught their own history. And people like you confuse them. I heard, I learned Jesus had a wife and kid. But you probably don't believe that because the Catholic Church was told him that. <laughs> all right. Jesus was a pimp, man. He had women. Like all prophets. Like all men. Catholics made up their own religion. That's Sir. what I learned. Read a book. Yeah, right. You learned that from Dan Brown? <laughs> I read all kinds of books, man. Not just Dan Brown. Yeah, well. Not just the Dan Bible, Brown wrote a book of fiction Bible. called The Da Vinci Code, sir. Exactly. And it is fiction. Exactly. I read it cover to cover. Yeah, I believe you read it. <laughs> I believe well, it. Well, what have you read? Have you read Rob Williams? Western Thought, Legal Mind? No, I've not read Rob Williams. Well, I suggest you read that. It'll tell you the whole history of the Oh, I have studied it. Don't the worry. The Bible was used to colonize indigenous people all over the world. To That's right. Indigenous people all over that the world. That happened. That's correct. That happened. I'm very embarrassed by that is, fact. Is, That's isn't true. That some, isn't that something that we should learn from? Yes. Well, why don't you preaching about that? that? That'll make people's hearts better. Yeah. Make people spiritually enlightened. Right? Well, that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been no, pleading. No, no, no. You're railing on. You're railing on people in the crowd. You want no, to I'm answering questions you that like people fighting. raise. You like I'm not railing on anybody. You like I'm answering the questions people raise. I'm respecting people enough to take their questions seriously, as I'm taking yours seriously, and I'm going head to head with people. Now, you're absolutely right. Christianity has been used to oppress people. And I've talked with several gentlemen on this side how Christianity has been used to justify Isn't that something and that's wrong. more important to learn from than just reading quotes from the Bible? Isn't that something that all Americans can learn from? That history, focusing yes. on that. That's right. That's we have right. to learn from our mistakes as Christians. No question about it. And children should be taught the mistakes and they don't repeat it. Absolutely again again. correct. You bet. And I teach my three children that racism, exploitation of people in the name of Christianity is sin, it's evil. In Jesus' best known parable, the parable of the Good Samaritan, he makes a direct frontal attack on racism and tells how a Samaritan gets down and helps a Jew who's been beaten and bloodied and left to die on the side of the road. Racism is sinful, it's evil. To think that you're a follower of Christ if you go out and are racist is wrong. It's a contradiction, it's hypocrisy. That's right. And we should learn from that. That's what you should be preaching about. Because that's still a problem today. It sure is a problem it's today. You're absolutely right. Today. And yes. people know it in their hearts. And they know in their hearts that it's wrong. That's right. That's human rights right there. That's human rights. Not some law, not some book. What you feel in your heart. Okay, sir. But you see, the problem is, is done. we all have a worldview, and our behavior comes from our worldview. If you view a woman simply as a good-looking hunk of meat on a hoof, that will determine how you treat her. The, Jesus and the Bible say that women are human beings created in the image of God. They're not hunks of meat on a hoof. So what you believe about reality will determine how you live your life. And if you believe in Christ and take him seriously, you can't be racist. Why? Because all human beings are created in the image of God. There was some colonialism, but that's not how Christianity got started. It was because of people like the apostles went into all the worlds preaching the gospel. They went to Ethiopia, they went to India, they went to Europe, they went to all over the world. That's how Christianity spread. It didn't get spread by the sword, like a lot of people think. And it's sad like when people did use it for their own gain and for selfish reasons and and people died from it that is very sad but 
<laughs> Say that Jesus was a pimp was wild and crazy. <laughs> Lord help him. But anyway, let's continue to watch. But all human beings have human rights. Not because we're arrogant and we think we're important. False. We have, we have rights have, because we we've been created by pope? God. Can we have a female pope? Can we have a black pope? Why can't we have a black pope? Why can't we have a black female pope? That's what I'd like to see. Oh, great. That's Christianity right there. That's well, no, no, I, well, I'm, I'm not standing out here saying, follow a church. I'm standing out here saying, look at Jesus Christ. He's far more reliable than any church. Right? You'd be a fool to put your faith in Christianity. Christianity has been used to oppress your race. So you'd, you'd be a fool to put your faith in Christianity, wouldn't you? But Jesus Christ, he's different. No, Christianity has some good things to offer. Good, what were just, they? Just, just as long as people don't get confused, you know, with all the, the hype. Yeah. yeah, just as long yeah, as people think, read the Gospels, I think you're stick hype. with Christ. I think you're hype, man. I'm well, if sorry. I'm all hype, what on earth are you doing wasting cameras. your time out here talking to me? Look at these cameras right here. Is that what a good person, a good Christian does? Yeah. You're, 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 yeah, people are raising very out. good issues. You've raised some good issues you're yourself. Your you're, it's for yourself. That it is not. That ain't, That's incredibly you judgmental. You don't community. know what motivates me. Come on, sir. Why don't you help people in your community instead of coming out and preaching? How on cameras. earth do you know what I'm doing? these cameras. I can tell. Look at these cameras. You're all about yourself. I am not all about myself. Christian. I'm not asking for your money. I'm not asking you to join my group. I'm saying look at Jesus Christ. We're going to read about you in our, in our, in our, in our, on our school newspaper, and that makes you feel good. You like that? <laughs> You're going to show all your... He wants to be read about in the school newspaper. <laughs> but yeah, this his videos really help so many people learn and understand how to answer these questions. He does such a valuable job. He's helped me so much in so many different ways to help answer difficult questions. I am thankful that Cliff does this. Yes, look, I made the paper again. Look, you you, you've got to be, you got to be uh, kidding that's, me. That's Christian values, man. You, you think my goal is to be on in an in a Arizona sure paper? <laughs> yeah, these guys are right here, man. Now, now you're really getting low. Come on, man. I don't mean to insult any of you guys, but the goal of life is not to be on the wildcat paper, okay? I feel like that guy was just really upset at Christianity. Obviously, when you read the Bible, that does not support anything that he was saying that Christians did in the name of Jesus. That does not support that. So when you know, when you really look back and you see, oh, it's not, he's upset at the humans, but he shouldn't be upset at Jesus. Jesus came to save the lost, not to condemn them, to, to send them to hell. He came to save them. But anyway, guys, I have a Bible verse now that will tie all of this together. Luke 19, verse 9 through 10 says, Jesus responded, Salvation has come to the home today, for this man has shown himself to be, true, to be a true son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. So go to God today, know that he loves you and he's longing to have a relationship with you. Admit that you're a sinner, believe in Jesus, believe that he died on the cross for your sins so that you can be saved. Make him your Lord and Savior over your life. That's the most crucial thing. Live for him today. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please comment down below your thoughts, whatever that may be. And guys, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I know we can do it with your help. We just hit 9,000 subscribers over the weekend again, so I... Thank God, all glory to God, and also guys, shout out to you. Thank you for loving and supporting me. It means the world. I'm trying to make a testimonial video about what God has done in my life, so I'd love to show you guys. Hopefully, I can have that posted by the weekend. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for loving and supporting me, and also, you might like this video here. Peace.